Hey Fish Tank fans, uh, just getting ready to paint the back of the tank. I'm just kind of using the basic uh, acrylic hobby paint that you can get at the store for a few bucks. Roller, and uh, I'm going to roll it up and see how it looks. I'll probably put two or three coats on. I take the, uh, the, the trim just to make sure I don't get too sloppy. So, you'll see how it goes. As you can see, it's uh, going on pretty easy. Kind of got to go back and forth. Looks like I'm going to need a couple of coats here from basic uh, rolling it. Pretty easy. Let's see, got a little bit more. I'm going to have to get down in the uh, trim right, right next to the uh, tank line over here with, with just a little detailed brush and go over it. So. I like to go usually the same way, but here on the end it's uh, a little bit easier. Well, I got the first coat on and uh, I'm just going to let it dry for a couple hours and I'll put another coat on. So I put three coats of paint on and that really covered it up really nicely. It's pretty easy to do. And now I'm just going to take off the, the tape. Kind of just makes it really easy, clean. Take the bottom off, one off here. Get a nice clean look. And now I'm going to get ready and uh, move it around just some of my tanks and fish. So I decided to uh, move it, move the tank uh, into its location last night. Uh, took me a little while because I had to figure out how to move uh, two filled tanks. I basically emptied them, hat, emptied them down as much as I can and took everything off, unplugged it and slid the two tanks over there with the help of my daughter. Now I've got the 75 in position, I'm going to fill it up. So I'm going to load up the uh, FX5 right now. I just pulled a whole bag, and if you can see, uh, in the center and on the top. I've already pre-seasoned uh, filter media for my large sump. So this sump is basically ready to go. I have uh, some large biological uh, coarse media and then some more uh, media all the way uh, through. And I have a, I'm going to try this pad that came with it, cleaned it out. We're going to see how that goes. And I'm just going to stack it up, line it up. Pick it up and drop it in. There you go. Now I'm just going to fill it up with water and get it going. Starting the fill process. I got all the uh, equipment hook uh, installed. I have the FX5. Just the, over, the, the return and everything is in there. I got the heater lined up. Got the power head, the Corolla power head. Nothing's plugged in yet. I'm just waiting for it to fill. So here you go. First uh, fill up, put some safe in there to get out of, get all the chlorine out. So, so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do to get the uh, FX5 filled up, I'm just going to use a little hose, siphon some water right from the tank. This is a big, pretty big uh, FX5, it's 100 gallons of water, but it certainly holds a lot. Start it up, and as you can see, I'm just going to fill it up until it reaches the top and um, it should be pretty good to go. Actually it's really easy to stick it in there for a little bit. As you can see I'll leave it in there until it fills up. Okay so I'm gonna plug in the FX5 for the first time. I get it all filled up, locked down, uh, in and out, locked in. And so here we go. You can see a lot of bubbling. And then what the FX5 does is 
it turns on and then after two minutes it turns off for, I don't know, 40 seconds or something like that. It does an automatic purge and flush, whatever it does. So here we go. There we go. A lot of stuff I try to clean out the, uh, the tubes, but um, there was obviously some stuff left over. And we're going to see how this thing settles in, make sure there's uh, no leaks or anything. So we're going to let this run overnight, get the tank stabilized. Like I said, I'm leaving the bottom uh, uh, no gravel because I want to make sure, uh, first I want to get the right stuff and I want to get it up uh, all set up and all stabilized. So after a day or two of uh, letting the water settle, uh, putting some, uh, some decorations in there, I think it's all ready to uh, have inhabitants, uh, some fish in there. I got a test fish in there. It's been doing just fine. I'm waiting, just want to tweak the water temperature a little bit more. You can see I got this uh, bunch of holy rock. It's a bare bottom right now. I'm going to rescape it here before uh, uh, once I get some uh, nice substrate in there and let me uh, see if I can even find him in there anyway just kind of a recap it's a 75 gallon tank it's got an FX5 filter with a Corolla power head on the side and a um, Eheim 150 uh, heater uh, basic light glass tops and the sponge filter. Um, what's great about having the uh, central air filter, air system, is just I just plug tapped in a new uh, new line and it was ready to go. Anyway, uh, when I get some more fish in here, I'll, I'll give you guys an update. So remember, rate, comment, and subscribe.